live look at our nation's capital, Washington, is now on high alert and heavily guarded. CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry on plans to protect next week's inauguration. Skylar. Hi, Liz. Good evening to you. Well, tonight, Vice President Mike Pence came to Capitol Hill to not only meet, but thank the thousands of National Guard's men and women who are here helping to beef up security around the Capitol and in the nation's Capitol. Now, this all comes as we still don't really know what next week's inauguration will look like, but we know that security will most certainly be tight. And of course, in the backdrop of all of this, what will happen in that pending impeachment trial? We're starting to hear from more lawmakers today, some of which say that what President Trump did last week was an impeachable offense. Thank you all for stepping forward to serve your country. Vice President Mike Pence visited a few of the thousands of National Guard members stationed at the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> Earlier, the Vice President attended an inauguration security briefing at FEMA headquarters. We are committed to an orderly transition. Uh, and do a safe inauguration. CBS News has learned of a new law enforcement bulletin warning that the success of last week's breach could fuel more violence among domestic extremist groups. There must be no violence, no law breaking, and no vandalism. President Trump released a video Wednesday calling for calm after the House took the historic step of impeaching him for a second time on charges of inciting the U.S. Capitol assault. The impeachment case now goes to the Senate for a trial, which is not scheduled to begin until after the president-elect and vice president-elect are sworn in here at the Capitol next week. The pending trial has already prompted division among Senate Republicans. Post-presidential impeachments are bad for the presidency. I believe that this president has committed an impeachable offense. Meanwhile, lawmakers have introduced a bipartisan bill to award Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman the Congressional Gold Medal for his bravery during last week's attack. The military veteran faced down a large group of rioters and lured them away from the Senate chamber, giving his colleagues enough time to secure the area. Federal law enforcement officials are also working to try to catch more suspects who were involved in last week's riot. You may have seen a popular post go around the Internet uh, that showed a man carrying a Confederate flag throughout the Capitol. Well, he has been arrested and charged, as well as another Pennsylvania man who was actually charged for assaulting a police officer after hitting him with an American flag. Liz? The details of this are just horrifying. All right, Skylar, thank you. Another high-profile arrest in the wake of the Capitol siege. A man caught on camera chucking a fire extinguisher at a line of Capitol Police officers. He's now facing four federal charges. The FBI has identified this man as retired Pennsylvania firefighter Robert Sanford.